welcome back to another episode of Oilers Daily. Um, I haven't uploaded in like two weeks, sorry about that. I actually like scheduled a bunch of uploads and they were supposed to go live like all last week. But none of that happened. So today we're going to get right into it. We're going to start off with draft day. Then we're, most people aren't happy about the Oilers pick. And then we're going to go to signing season. And then after, we're going to talk about a bit more about all that stuff. So, the draft. Like, pretty deep draft, yeah? First overall, New York, Lafreniere. They've been so lucky this last two. And, yeah. Um, so, yeah, not much I want to talk about other than that isn't Oilers, but... The Ottawa Senators at third overall got Tim Stutzel, Quinton Byfield at second. That was a big controversy. I personally think that personally think that Byfield's a bit better, a bit taller and stuff. But yeah, I I I like both of them and yeah, the way that they drafted Stutzel, that was with Alex Trebek. I think that was. Hilarious and awesome. Detroit, Lucas Raymond. Eh. He's okay. Like, Ottawa, two picks in the second. They did good. And let's go 10th overall. Oh, yeah, Quinn Hughes. Or Jack. Jack. Jack Quinn, sorry. Going 8th. Um, yeah, and Cole Perfidi all the way at 10th, like, that, gonna call it right now, heard it here first, steal. Total steal. Lead, like, 10th, I thought he was gonna be, like, 6th. Um, yeah, and the goalie doesn't go to Edmonton. I expected that. He went to Nashville. So what about Renee? Well, I guess, like, they probably have a few more le- years on him. Then the Oilers got Dylan Holloway from Wisconsin. Not many people happy about that, but... Um, yeah, I, th- I think it... I don't really have any, any like, negativity. Like, I'm... I can't say anything bad about him. Like, he was, he was second youngest in NCAA on a stacked Wisconsin team. So you can't really, like, yeah. And then another huge steal that I want to, I'm, okay, one sec. I'm just really happy that they didn't draft a D. Breaking news. They didn't draft a D. Thank goodness, Holland. Um, and then Dawson Mercer could be a steal, but nah, I don't really think. And then I think the huge steal here. And then an off-the-board pick. Even um, Igor Chikhanov. Like, he was drafted... He was expected to go in the third round. Like, even Sam Cosentino, like, as soon as he drew, got drafted, he's like, um, I don't even know what to say about this. Um, and then in 22, huge steal, Hendrick. I'm, gu- I'm guessing he's going to be a steal. Um, Lapierre Hendricks. Lapierre. He was ranked, like, 13th. Like, he, he was, like, could have been top five if he hadn't gotten that concussion and stuff. And yeah. So, and now we're going to get into signing season. Signing season. So, big names off the board. So, at first, Oilers get Kyle Turris for $1.7 million, I think. Boom, like, hands up in the air. I personally think that even, like, 
I think he's pretty good. I don't know what happened in Nashville in his last season in Ottawa. Like, like I, yeah, I don't know what happened. But I think he'll be able to bounce back. And today, or yesterday, sorry, they got Tyson Berry! Well, Ben, Tyson Berry didn't do very good on the Leafs. Blah, 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 blah. Shut up! He's gonna be good on the Oilers. Well. Well. But what about his last season on the Leafs? Okay. Got a good point there. Ha 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 ha! Jeez, um. Yeah, so, Barry on the Oilers, let's go. I think definitely gonna bounce back. All, everybody says he's gonna bounce back. Like, Brian Burke, I was listening to a podcast earlier today. Yeah, he thought he was gonna bounce back. For one year, 3.75 million bucks. That's, like, insane, bro. Like, I thought he was going to go. He reportedly turned down a couple $6 million offer, like $6 million offers. I don't know if that was, like, over l longer term than one year, though. But, like, he apparently had his sights on the Oilers before free agency even started. Like, he got called by McDavid a few days ago. And, yeah. So that's like all big news, yeah, like, if we sign Mike Smith, yeah, they re-signed Pooley RV. Wait, did you say they re-signed Pooley RV? Yes, so, oh yeah, they re-signed Yessie Pooley RV for what? Ow, um, one million dollars, um, yes, so Holland was optimistic from the start. Like, he rebuilt, because it wasn't Chiarelli, I think. And I think, well, I don't think, I know, um, Pugliarby will be starting on the third line at the start of the season. I'm hoping he'll do good and move up to the first. Um, so, yeah, um, Barry, okay, a couple big names, Barry, and Pooley RV back. And Markstrom, yeah, he went to Calgary. Like, Calgary, like. And then Holtby went to Vancouver. Talbot went to the Wild. So, um, yeah, like, a bunch of goalies moved around. Kind of insane. Um, yeah, I, so personally, some people at, um, texted me and asked me, um, how do you think Colin's doing as a GM? I think, personally, I think he's, after these last two days of signing season, bravo. I think people only think, like, the one thing is, the one thing is not really, like, giving up two picks. Two second-round picks for FNSU. You have played 14 games for you. Oh, yeah, and they also re-signed Ennis. So, they have a third line, Turris, Ennis, and Pooley RV, and for under $4 million, which is good. So, I think the lines will go like this next season. I'll get back to Holland in a second. But I think it'll be McDavid, Cass, and then, like, maybe Archibald up there. And then I think Dry, Yam, and Nuge is a lock. Like, that's going to happen. They were a great line last season. And then third line, Ennis, Turris. And Pooley RV, and I think that could go really well. They could help, like the two veterans, Ennis and Turris, could help Pooley RV develop his English, 
develop his style of play, where he should be on the ice, like that that stuff. And then the fourth line, that's tacky. I, I don't know about the fourth line yet. And the goalies, I think they're okay for now. Like, yeah. And, yeah, I am wearing the McDavid's alternate jersey for him. I think it was 2017. I do have a jersey from last season, but I thought, why not switch it up? We got Pugliarvi back. Um, Barry. Uh, yeah, so there's, like, if you go to Sportsnet, um, I'm not trying to promote them or anything. Um, there's, like, a couple of highlights, and it talks about Barry um, just talking to, like, Mark Spector and stuff about going to Edmonton it talks it also talks about um a bit about Pouliot talking about how he can become a better player so yeah I think that's good right so um Holland that's who I was talking about um I think after the signing he got good deals done. They only have a, like, they have a, like, Tyson Berry, 3 mil. He was one team. Yeah, sorry, a couple teams were giving him $6 million. So, um, when I found that out, I was like, and then... Pugliar be like, you can't go wrong with one million for two years. Like, even if he do isn't good, but he's only taking him. Like, you could trade him, I guess. And then Annis resigned. And then Taurus, I think, oh, is a good third line center. So, yeah, I think Halton's doing a good job here in Edmonton. I think we'll win a cup sometime soon. I hope. But I think the main thing we got to get. This, we still need, like, a couple D. Uh, we need a better goalie. Like, a true number one goalie. And then, yeah. And speaking of defense, the Oilers will also... And I don't... Oh, yeah. And I also don't think they're done trading. Because they only have, I think... Seven... Like, se seven hundred... Like seventy thousand left in cap space, and they still need to re-sign Bear, Bear. So I think they're probably gonna do a cap cap dump. Like maybe they could. Like, I'm just looking at who they could trade. Um. Like, they could... Oh, yeah, and they also acquired Anton Forsberg. Yeah, so they could trade maybe... Uh, Neil, maybe? Like, I don't know. They, they need to trade... They're going to trade someone. Because we want Bear back, like... It would be stupid to trade him. And yeah, oh yeah, and Clefbaum might be out for the season. I am touching base on that, finally. Um, because of his shoulder, he's probably going to get surgery, so probably going to be out for the season. And that's why they wanted a number one D. I personally think Barry's better than Clefbaum, hands down. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video um i will have another one coming out in one or two days sorry this one was a little long i just tried i'm sorry if i, I tried to touch base on everything today i'm sorry if i didn't have i didn't touch base on everything and wasn't my best today i just haven't done i haven't done this in a while two weeks so yeah um Hope you have a nice day. You the best. Peace.